are you doing? I am back with another Tuesday Talks video and Tuesday Talks is a Goodreads group that is created by Janie and Chanel and I'll have a link to the group below in case you want to join in because it's a great discussion group. Today's Tuesday Talks topic, say that five times fast, is do you prefer first or third person narrative? I really have no preference. Honestly, I don't even notice it half of the time and it's not something that would cause me to specifically reach for certain books or avoid others. I really like both of these points of views and I know that second person person narration is kind of becoming a thing now and there are several second person point of view books that I am interested in reading but I haven't read any of them yet so I can't talk about second person narration. So as far as first person narrative I feel like it's been getting a lot of shade recently. I don't know why other than maybe there's like a lot of it even though I don't even notice it most of the time. Um, I know that from a critical viewpoint I've heard it said that first person is kind of a lazy way of writing and I honestly Honestly, don't know why that is said. It actually feels like it would be more difficult to correctly capture a character's internal thoughts. Like third person narration could just get away with saying so and so felt this way instead of actually showing you how they feel. So I actually feel like it's more difficult to capture. Maybe that's why people don't like it is because it's not always captured well. First person narration really gets you into the mind of the character more and because first person is the way that our brains think about ourselves, it makes it just a quick and a more effortless read. So I can definitely see how it might be a little bit more gripping or easier to read. I don't think that's a bad thing though. I think that a lot of stories are very suited to first person narration. Now as for third person point of view, again, I don't even notice when it's in third person because a lot of times if it sticks with just one character, I really just assume that we're in that character's point of view anyway. I've been surprised when I really sat down and thought about it. Throne of Glass was third person, wasn't it? I thought it was from Selena's point of view the entire time. So third person came can still definitely give you a really strong grasp for the characters, but I do think that third person is definitely much more suited for fantasy or dystopian stories because these are books where the world is usually vastly different than our world. It doesn't always make sense for the character themselves to be explaining the world. They probably don't even know. They wouldn't have an idea of how the entire system works because they are a very limited point of view in that world. So third person narrative does work very well in high fantasy or anything thing where the world is not exactly our own because we can definitely get like more of a grasp of the system as a whole, the world as a whole. A classic example of this is going to be Mockingjay from the Hunger Games trilogy. It made a lot of sense for the first two books in that series to be told from Katniss's first person point of view because the games were things that she was going through and she was meeting all these people and experiencing this like culture shock from District 12 to the Capitol and everything and made a lot of sense for those first two books to be from her point of view but then when Mockingjay happened that story is all about the politics it's all about a war and we have a very limited perspective of it and it really wouldn't have worked in my opinion in Mockingjay to have a second narrator because most of our main characters were either in the same place that Katniss was or she was hearing from them enough that we didn't really need their perspective because we had it through Katniss. The only way that would have worked is if it was from somebody like President Snow and I don't know how enjoyable his point of view would have been. It might have made us more sympathetic. It would have probably spoiled a lot of the strategies for us. So in that case a third person narration it could have cut to that for certain scenes and given us more of an overview of what was happening in other areas in Pan Am and not just the limited perspective of Katniss. I do think a third person could have helped in that instance but I like the book as it is. This isn't a Mockingjay discussion even though it just kind of turned into a mini Mockingjay discussion. But the point is, is that I think that first person and third person both are great styles of narration. I really don't prefer one over the other, but they are sometimes better suited for different genres. Those are just my thoughts on it, but if you prefer one over the other, you, or if you really hate one, or if you've read a second person point of view book, let me know how you liked that one because I'm really intrigued by those. I want to check them out. I'm going to be starting You by Carolyn Kepnes pretty soon, and I'm pretty sure I've heard that that is told in second person. Uh, really curious to see how that goes because I feel like that can get kind of under your skin pretty easily. Let me know what you guys think about narratives and points of view. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the comments. Bye!